Trank des Lebens. Naja, nimm mit. Ein Trank des Lebens, zwei gehen verloren, ist egal. Hauptsache, wir sind voll damit. I gave you my word that I'd help you return to Dana. The next time you open your eyes, you'll be home. But you... My place is here with my people. I still have a duty to fulfill. I'm sorry for what you've endured. Renna never should have dragged you into this. It's not your burden to bear. But... The mask contains a sedative. It should keep your mind from tearing itself apart any further. Let yourself go to sleep. This should help with the pain. Time to go, Elfin. Farewell. Aeori. His injuries are worse than I thought. Short-term treatment isn't going to cut it. I'll have to switch the healing pod to long-term hibernation mode. The chance of surviving hibernation is less than 10%? And worse, long-term use of the mask carries a high risk of damaging his mind and nervous system. But... If I don't head back... Lenigus will be nothing but ashes, and this starship along with it. I don't know if I can fulfill my promise to you, Alfin. But if... If doing this will grant you even the slightest chance, I have to try. I hope it's enough. Please, live for me, Alfin. <sighs> that vision... It must have been from when Naori helped Alfin escape Lenigus. She sure went above and beyond the call of duty. Even with Lenigus crumbling down around her, she chose to stay put with her people. So that's why you lost your memories and sense of pain. And why you were asleep for that whole time. It was all the result of one agonizing decision Naori made to save your life. Yeah. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't even be alive today. I owe her everything. More than I could ever hope to repay. Now that you know how she felt, how do you plan on honoring her wishes? She kept her promise. If the Renan people she fought so desperately to protect are at risk from a malevolent force, then I owe it to her to carry on her fight. Naori was the one who put that mask on me and made me Iron Mask. She did it to prevent your soul from tearing itself apart. She knew you might lose your memories and sense of pain as a result. But more than anything, she wanted you to survive. And you did. Erstmal einmal kurz gucken. Sonderbereich. Oh ja, hier sind Gegenstände. Bestimmt sonderbare. Kraftschmankel. Einfach mal gar nichts. Man hätte ja wenigstens noch was reinstellen können. 
Wenn es so eine Blume ist. Ich glaube, jetzt kommen wir in die Kammer, oder? Das sieht aus wie die Kammer. Das sieht nicht gut aus. Oh Gott. This place. We've seen this in one of Naori's memories. Of course. After 300 years, this is where it was held. The spirit channeling ceremony. This is where the Renis Alma was. So this is the place where you and Naori... The Renis Alma isn't here now. Nor is the Red Woman, it seems. I know it's difficult, Alfin. But there will be time to dwell on the past later. For now, we need to keep moving. Come on. <gasps> Naori? What is this? Is it the work of Dana's will again? It's been a year since the ceremony. That day, I shut away inside of myself the power that caused Elfin to lose control. Since then, my visions of the future have grown more and more fearsome. Is this another memory? No, it's different this time. It's like she's speaking directly to us. <sighs> what we did back then. Not so much as a day passes when I don't think about it. About what was done to us. All in the name of a ceremony. The purpose of which we were never even told. As Sovereign, they linked Elfin's consciousness to Lenigus itself. The Renis Alma was intended to control his power, lest anything should slip through its cracks. That day, as Maiden, my role was to temper his power. I was meant to guide it forth, and give shape to the strength inside of him. Linked to Lenicus itself? But then, everything that's been happening... But that power showed me a vision. A vision of oblivion. When I realized that vision was a prophecy of the apocalypse we were about to unleash, I couldn't go through with it. But without a maiden, the ceremony was doomed. Alfin lashed out, his consciousness no longer his own. I did what I could. Using my abilities as the maiden, I tried to seal that power away inside of me. But it was too late. Lanigus had already been brought to its knees. Thousands upon thousands of lives so cruelly snuffed out. All because of me. Because of what I had done. With the destructive force now slumbering inside of me, I knew I had to find a way to dispose of it. Anything to make up for my failure. But I didn't know how. Especially since that power was astral energy itself. In which case, ironically enough, the Renis Alma seemed to be my best bet. That, at least, would hold the astral energy dormant. Assuming that no malevolent third party got to it first. With the Sovereign and Maiden's combined power, Perhaps I could shift the chaotic energy inside me into the Renis Alma instead. That's what I hoped, but alas, it was not to be. The Renis Alma was lost, and Alfin the Sovereign was in a starship bound for Dana. My only choice was to seal away the destructive force inside of me using my powers as the Maiden, to buy the world what little time I could. 
The time needed for a new Renes Alma to be crafted, and for a new Sovereign to appear. Even if by doing so, it meant I would be passing the curse onto my descendants as well. Please, forgive me. I never meant to burden the future world with this threat, too. I only wish that there was something more I could have done. Wait, you can't just... Naori. <sighs> that message just now, was it directly from Naori? Or was it the Danon voice? speaking through her. Uh, what? These are the clothes that Naori and I wore during the ceremony three centuries ago. So you're saying this is the Maiden's outfit? That's right. These clothes are designed to resonate with the Sovereign and Maiden's abilities. They focus and enhance them. And they appeared now because... Naori must have left them here for the new Sovereign and Maiden, knowing the day would come when they would need them in their fight against the Thorns. These outfits are directly linked to the answers we've been chasing this whole time. If they're here, it must mean it was Naori's will for us to find those answers as well. Locating the Renis Alma would allow us to neutralize the dark astral energy inside Xion, thereby silencing her thorns. Is that what Naori's suggesting? It makes sense. After all, Master Cores and Spirit Vessels are both able to prevent the astral energy inside them from developing sentience. By that logic, it would stand to reason that the Renis Alma would have the same ability on a larger scale. We have a Maiden and Sovereign. Now all we need is the Renis Alma, and we'll finally be able to free you of your thorns. Shion. It's possible? You really think so? I do. We can rid you of your thorns and stop the world from falling to oblivion. However, the spirit channeling ceremony already failed once. Even if our goal is different this time, we can't be sure the same thing won't happen again. We should take care not to be too optimistic. You're right. It's the barest sliver of a chance. But if there's even the slightest hope it can work, I'm willing to stake everything I've got on it. I... I know it's too early to let myself feel relieved, but... I just can't seem to help it. Just hearing there's the slightest chance, even though I know the world's still in great peril. It's selfish of me, I know, but... but still... No, it isn't! You found hope to believe in. It'd be strange if you weren't over the moon about it. Rinwell's right. We can rid you of your curse, and still save the world at the same time. Thank you. Naori entrusted us with the fate of all humanity. Now, it's up to us to prove that trust was well-placed. Starting with a little game called Hunt the Renis Alma. Yeah, we've come all this way! Now we just need to search Lenigus and Rena until we find it. Yeah, we can protect the world and save Xion at the same time. I too shall lend my services. My knowledge of Renan lore is bound to be a useful asset. And they say modesty is dead. <laughs> Miracles just seem to follow wherever you go, huh? How do you know it's me they're following? We're all in this together, Xion. You included. Now let's get moving, shall we? Last I heard, we had an apocalypse to stop. Not dead, my lord. <laughs> Thank you, Naori.
So Miori sealed away the power that made me lose control of myself. She stopped my rampage and saved my life. But then, that power she'd sealed away was passed down to you. I'm so sorry, Xion. It's my fault that you're cursed. You're wrong. What happened to you was because of the ceremony and Naori's attempt to stop Oblivion. You paid a heavy price for it and then fell asleep for 300 years. The reason you lost your memories is the reason for your curse. The, the thorns. thorns. It all leads back to them. But once they're gone, we can finally put an end to all this. When my thorns are gone, I never dared to dream that such a thing could be possible. No. The truth is, I think maybe I've always been dreaming about a life without my thorns. The touch of my family, or playing with my friends, holding hands with Rinwell, or giving Law a deserved smack, embracing everyone, all the normal things that people do together. I always wished I could experience them for myself and finally know what they were like. Is it really okay for me to believe it can happen? I'm so scared of getting my hopes up. What if it doesn't work out in the end, and... That's not going to happen. I'm here to make sure it won't. Forget fate or destiny or anything else. We're going to live... <sighs> a normal life. There are a lot of things you still want to do, right? Yeah. You're right. It's such a strange feeling. I know that we've still got plenty of fighting up ahead. And it's for my sake, so I can live. You're worth fighting for. I believe you, Alfin. Good. I'll keep on fighting. For as long as it takes. Until our future is finally in our hands. Die letzte Jungfrau. Was habe ich denn überhaupt? Oh, eine fortschrittliche Heilungsarte. Den nehme ich gleich mal mit. <lacht> Wir müssen die Klamotten umziehen. Das sieht ja furchtbar aus. Ich will nicht so doof aussehen. Eine Waffe. Outfit. Outfit. Sounds like this Naori chick had quite the big heart. Her position demanded nothing less from the sound of things. She didn't focus on differences, least of all those between Renans and Danans. Yeah, it was Naori who first showed me that such a thing was even possible. And then she saved my life by sending me back home to Dana. Not only that, but she willingly stayed behind on Lenegas for the sake of her people. It sounds like she was quite the hero, all right. A truly caring person. That's as if walls meant nothing to her. The one separating the Renans from the Danans, or herself from others. She had no need for them. Which basically meant that she never had anything to break down in the first place, huh? Yeah. I think you may be right about that. You inherited that legacy. Her wish for the world. Don't I know it? She's kind of like a lodestar guiding our way, showing us what we can aspire to. Ja, stärker. Maximal stärker, ja. <lacht> hier ist nichts stärker, ne? Aber gut, ihr, ihr Kleidchen hier ist. Maximal stärker. Ich muss sie wieder anders anziehen. Das sieht ja furchtbar aus. Ich glaube, wir hatten immer das an, ne? Ich bin mir gar nicht so sicher. Oh Gott, die Bauernkleidung ist ja furchtbar. Sieht aus wie ein Bur. Wie ein Bur ist jung. Ungekämmtes Haar. Fischerhut. Bauernhut. Stroh. Oh Gott. Nein, bitte nicht. Ist auch ganz nice. Ja. Haben wir ewig nicht mal reingeguckt, ne? Ich sag's nur. Ein Zauberstab. Irgendwie so eine Links-Rechts-Dinger. Ich 
gefiederter Kopfschmuck, Fischerhut. Es geht, glaube ich, nichts über Schwattdorn. Schwattdorn hier, Alter. Die sind doch eigentlich ganz cool. Ich hätte aber gerne mal ein paar coole Klamotten für ihn. Hier in Rot ist doch cool, oder? Nein, nicht mit Fischerhut. Mann, niemand will einen Fischerhut tragen. Ist aber auch nichts, was wirklich, ne? Wie nicht die ganze Zeit als Bauer rumlaufen. Nein, er muss hell aussehen. Ich weiß nicht warum, aber er muss hell aussehen. Keine Ahnung. Das sieht doch ganz cool aus. Weil es jetzt schwatt natürlich auch nice ist, ne? Habe ich da noch was anderes schön in schwarz? Weil das auch nice aussieht. Wenn ich ihn hier jetzt vielleicht auch in schwarz, dann sind alle in schwarz gekleidet. Wir brauchen nur noch einen schwarzen Stab, sowas hier. Doch, oder? Ich weiß, völlig, völlig nutzlos, dass wir sowas machen, aber es ist schon wichtig, dass wir sowas machen. So, jetzt sind alle in schwarz gekleidet. Passt. Schwarz ist immer gut. Schwarz ist die Farbe. Der Sockel, auf dem das Renners Alba vor 300 Jahren stand. Jetzt verströmt es keine Spur von Macht. Und ich würde sagen, ich muss jetzt hier erstmal die Aufnahmepause machen. Eine Folge, glaube ich, muss ich noch aufnehmen für, ähm, dass wir wieder kurz vorm Livestream sind. Ich bin mir aber noch nicht sicher. Weil hier alle Zeiten umgestellt sind, weil Urla äh, Urlaub, äh, weil die Uhr umgestellt wurde. Toll. Okay, wir können einmal nach da und einmal wieder zur verbotenen Zone. Aber ich mache jetzt einfach Feierabend, dann können wir nämlich nirgendwo mehr hin. So, schnell speichern und dann ist alles gut. Dann kann es nichts mehr passieren. Gut, dann verabschiede ich mich jetzt und wir sehen uns dann hoffentlich beim nächsten Mal wieder. Wenn wir, ja weiß ich eigentlich das Renners Alba suchen. Also das ist ja eigentlich unsere Priorität jetzt. Aber wo wir jetzt anfangen? Keine Ahnung. Das werden wir dann sehen. Aber erst beim nächsten Mal. Deswegen verabschiede ich mich jetzt und ja, bis zum nächsten Mal. Auf Wiedersehen und ciao. Tschüss.